Andrew McCaw, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Uh, talking about being proudly sponsored by Everlast, I see that you've got the Everlast hoodie on there, Sandy. You're proudly sponsored by them as well. Yeah, proudly sponsored by them. Um, yeah, just I'm grateful for them to be getting on board, like uh, right at the start of my career, my professional career. Um, massive brand in boxing. Everyone knows who they are, and yeah, I'm like grateful and. Yeah, big up my manager, Paul, STN, uh, for securing it. And, um, yeah, it's good to have him on board. Good on, good on, off, Paul. on the off. Exactly. Definitely. Good on Paul there. Yeah, just talk, just on that deal in itself, I mean, they announced they're going to do, they're going to uh, sign 52 UK fighters, European fighters, for one for each week of the year and stuff like that. But for you, Tasha and Chantel, to be the first three female fighters, well, fighters, to, to sign with Everlast. I mean, what does that mean for not just women's boxing, but boxing in general? Yeah, it's it's massive, isn't it? And um, for them to come on board and like to be supporting, is it 52 athletes, isn't it? Um, yeah. It's just, it's just like great. It's great for boxing and it will be great for their brand as well. It's just like building one another. So it's, it's perfect. Definitely. I mean, as well, you're representing Everlast there. You've got the hoodie on, which is which is good to see. So I'm guessing it'll be Everlast boxing shorts, Everlast gloves. I mean, mean, like you're representing them well and truly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, definitely on my fight kit. Uh, yeah, I can't wait. We're talking about can't you can't wait. Obviously, we spoke. Uh, I think it was over a month ago now and stuff like that. Um, about your ambitions and your hopes and your dreams to turn professional and stuff like that. Are we any further in that and can you let us uh, any more information on when and where that will happen? Um, yeah, so I've had offers off uh, UK promoters and uh, US promoters. Um, obviously, I'm leaving it to Paul to deal yeah. with. I'm in the loop of everything. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we're getting very close to making a deal with a promoter. Um, we're just making sure it's the right one and the one that wants me wants to build me um and uh yeah we're very close so for people that don't, when you say paul we mean paul ready do you know what i mean I just for people, who is this paul guy that we're talking about paul ready. Paul ready, my yeah. manager paul ready stn paul. yeah stn yep yeah. um so i guess it's, it's paul's working hard behind the scenes as he always does to secure this yeah. something that something that is going to be worthwhile for you and everybody else and stuff like that in your team so um the sooner the better you get this news, I'm hoping, because right now women's boxing is flying. Like, I've, the, the Katie Taylor, Tasha Jonas fight's been announced. I mean, what a fight that is. It's a fight that was talked about when they first turned professional because they had fought in the Olympics yeah. and stuff like that. Now yeah. it's here. As a, as a female fighter yourself, when you look at these two outstanding amateurs in their own right and now they're outstanding professionals in now, right? What's yeah. your thoughts on that fight, Sandy? These, these are the kind of fights that women's boxing needs and it's just perfect because the two both great uh, boxers great female boxers and um, it's just going to showcase female boxing at the highest level and this these are the fights that um, women's boxing needs and it's just going to show it's just going to show like the talent of the female boxers and they're both like it's going to be a great fight it's going to be a great fight isn't it everyone knows it's going to be a great fight yeah, I, I'm, one, I'm one of them. I know it's going to be a great fight. But you, a lot of people are saying that Kate Taylor, obviously, she's got that amateur win over over Tasha. But Tasha's coming off that fantastic performance against Terry Harper. However, yeah. I, I'm getting the sort of vibe that not many people are giving Tasha a, a chance in this fight. But do you give Tasha a chance against Katie Taylor? Um, I do give it a chance. It's, gonna, it's not going to be easy for Katie. Um. But I do see Katie win it. Um, but it's it's not going to be an easy fight for Katie. And Tasha's got a very good chance. But I just, um, yeah, I do I do see Katie beating her. But it's going to be a very good fight, and it's not going to be easy for Katie. It definitely is going to be a good fight. Like you say, it's a fight that not just women's boxing, but boxing need. You need these. You need to see these types of fights in boxing. Do you know what I mean? Katie Taylor, yeah. Tasha Jonas is two elite amateurs, two very outstanding professionals going at it. And sometimes you, you, we don't get to see these fights happen, but it's good to see that Katie and Natasha have signed put pen to paper and we're getting this fight. Now, another female fight that I'm looking forward to is Ebony Bridges and 
uh, Shannon Courtney next week. Um, what's your, what's, yeah. your, what's yeah. your thoughts on that one? That's a good little point as well, isn't it? Um, I don't really know much about Ebony Bridges, to be honest. Um, I know she's only, she only had a few pro fights, hasn't she? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't really. I can't really say much about it. I don't really. I just know it's been built very good, hasn't it? Through yeah. social media, uh, and that's all I know about it, really. All right, but when you see like the women's, when you see these fights happening and stuff like that, and these big fights happening on the matchroom shows and stuff like that, I mean, how 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 itchy are your knuckles right now? <laughs> very, <laughs> very. <laughs> Now I've been I've been working hard in the gym and um, just getting ready, getting back in shape, and obviously after surgery, it's been about six months now, so I'm just ready to go on all cylinders, uh, pushing it hard in the gym and just waiting for my time, my dates. Talked about that injury, then I want to just go back to it. Then how how was it? How was everything healing up? Are you are you are you punching well? Is everything? In yeah, football? um, I am. I'm punching. I'm doing everything now, uh, so yeah, we're we're in a good in a good position, um, stronger than it's ever been. Obviously, I feel like I've got a new shoulder now, <laughs> um, so yeah, it's exciting. So where, where are you training? You still training up at Sheffield and stuff like that? Still? No, no, I'm um, at One Nation in Derby. Oh yeah, 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 One Nation, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you are you are you sparring your blood? Are you managed to spar yet or? He ain't been down to the gym yet. Is he not? I'm telling him he, he needs to hurry up and get down to the gym because um, I'll be ready to spar now. Definitely. <laughs> oh, the thing is as well, Sandy, there's a fight on tonight. Uh, I'm going to get your thoughts on it since it's uh, it's a big fight on Channel 5. Carl Frampton against Jamel Herring. Uh, Carl's looking to be the first uh, three-world champion from the island of Ireland. Uh, Carl's a, a, a great fighter. Do you know what I mean? So do you think he can do it? Yeah, I think he can. And I really hope he, I really hope he does do it. Um, I like Carl Frampton. I like I like I like his style as well. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. and hope he can pull it off. See, see, good. I'm, I'm glad you mentioned Carl's style and stuff like that. But for people that haven't seen Sandy Sandy Ryan box, how would you describe your style? Um, <laughs> I was actually talking to I was talking to Clifton in the gym yesterday about this, and uh, he was like, you. You went, you've got your own style. Um, it's going to be exciting to show you all, but obviously I'm more like elusive. Um, obviously I'm coming from a, you know, amateur background and um, like a, a good experience there. But, but I've got my own little style, like elusive in the ring, and I like to hit and not be hit, so you probably see it. You've, you've seen like a lot of movement from me. Um, I like I like watching a lot of Canelo stuff. I'm not saying I'm Canelo. Oh, but... I was gonna say that. <laughs> Are you the female? <laughs> so that, but I. But yeah, I do like watching. I like watching Canelo, and uh, I like to practice some of the stuff what he he does. Wow. We've got, why do, that's, that might be your new nickname then, the female Canelo. Would that suit? Would that would that stick around? Mm, possibly. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's a bit too, too cutting myself up there right away, isn't it? But uh, no, um, I, I like. I really. He's one of. My, he's my favourite fighter, and I just take stuff from what he does in the gym. I just like implement it a bit in my training. And um, obviously, I've got my own style. But you you look at other fighters, don't you? And I like watching them, and I just feel like. I'm bringing something different to the pro scene. Yeah. I'm excited. Well, that's the thing is that the pro scene uh, is 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 buying is booming at the moment. Women's boxing, like I said to you earlier, and probably the last interview I, I spoke to you on, it's it's flying at the moment. We've seen some outstanding, outstanding fights between the in the women's boxing and stuff like that. So it's it's one of them things where I know Paul very well, and I really I've got loads of time for Paul. He's, he's I'm going to class him as a good friend of mine. So when I yeah. He's he's got he's got nothing but good things to say about you. So I'm like sitting here and anxious, ready for Sandy Ryan to make her pro debut. So yeah. I'm anxious. I'm wondering how you're feeling. Um, I'm just excited, you know. 
I'm really excited. Um, obviously, there's a lot of hype around, but uh, I just make sure I have to perform and uh, and do what I can do, and and I believe that will be good enough. Yep, definitely. Well, that's the thing. It's 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 gonna come. We've, we've all got to be yeah. patient. Uh, yeah. Paul, me, and you definitely got to be patient on this. So, but <clears throat> excuse me, Sandy. Before I let you go and stuff like that. Just one quick, one quick, uh, one final thought on the Everlast deal, and for people watching this interview, uh, just let them know, like, what's your plans and what's your hopes for this year. Um, my plans are obviously have my pro debut in the summer, um, go on to perform, win, and then obviously look towards the future world titles, and um, yeah, just. Build, build my name, build a face, and build women's boxing. Definitely, definitely, it's gonna be. It's a fun time ahead in 2021. Fingers crossed for you. It's, it's your year pro debut. Hopefully, up again in the autumn and the winter and stuff like that. Get that yeah. record nice and nice and stacked, and then we can start seeing you fighting these big names in the in the women's division. But uh, yeah. until then, I know you've been out and about and stuff like that. You're just uh, you're just back, so I appreciate you taking the time out to speak to me, Sandy. So I won't keep you much longer. So. Nice one, uh, keep training hard and like I said to you last time I can't wait for this professional debut so when that time comes good luck I might be there I might not but fingers crossed I will be so thank like you Sandy good luck nice one appreciate that anytime Sandy speak to you soon see you later bye bye, bye, -bye.